You finish your chips now? No, there's still some left. Sorry. You're covered in dog hair right now. I always. <laughs> Bama loves me. <laughs> I love her. She's my best friend. She's not mean to me like you guys. Oh, oh my god. Here she doesn't go. say a word about my fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, no, you fuck. Death Talk. Episode 2. We've made it to another episode. Zero, zero, two. That, is that I started the last one like that. I did do that last one like yeah. that. Okay. Well, good. Yeah. Zero, now. zero, two. We're, uh... We made it another episode. Um, I guess some people listened to the last one. I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, and if you liked it, that's cool. Thanks for liking it. And, um... Thanks for listening to it, even if you hated it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure some people hated it. Yeah. Um... Yeah. This is some time. Cool. So we, we it's been a week since we did the last one. Uh, and we uh, have some more things to talk about happening this week. First uh, off, introductions. Yeah, we'll do the introductions one more time. Because we're one man down. We are one man down. We are. Alright, well I'm Rich. I'm back again for another episode. I have my buddy uh, Casey here. I am here. <laughs> Chris. Hey. Is here. Okay. And uh, good old Caleb. Hey. Big head Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Good. Yeah. If you notice, there's no mark no mark this week. Mark. 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 It's, uh, Casey. he's, uh, gone for the, uh, long weekend. Who take, wait, is Columbus Day is Monday, right? Yes. So I think so, yeah. People take that day off? I don't have class that day. Oh. I'm taking it off, but it's because I have to record. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Not must nice. must be nice. Well, Mark is off uh, sipping martinis and yachting. Probably yeah, yeah. At the he's moment. yachting at, uh, off the shore of Maine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably doing something real fancy this weekend. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna be here today. Mm-hmm. You guys, some people are coming in tomorrow, aren't they? I'm going in some, tomorrow gonna, and we'll, Sunday. We'll talk about more of what what's happening in the next podcast. We're gonna that's a little. Uh, Little, little foreshadowing. Yeah, little foreshadowing. Oh, like, I'm sure people are on the edge of yeah. this. Yeah, <laughs> really excited about this one. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll keep that. But so, so no, Mark, uh, feel free to send him hate mail or something like that. Oh, please. <laughs> uh, but first thing we want to talk about, what, ha- what did we do this week? We, uh, we saw Code Orange. Mm-hmm. Yes, we did. The Middle East. That was cool. Very cool. Any, uh, any interesting stories? Anything... Uh, Anything funny happened at the show? I saw someone get headbutted, and it was sick. <laughs> <laughs> like, like during the show, or like? Yep. Oh, okay. During like, during their set, so some kid got like, somebody was moshing, bounced into him. The kid got mad, punched the kid moshing. The other kid moshing didn't feel it or didn't care. I don't know. Went it's away. In the yeah, and then some other kid like next to him turned around and was like, "Yo, why'd you punch that guy?" And he's like, "I'm I'm pissed, man." <laughs> and, then, and then the guy who was like, "Why'd you punch him?" just head busts this kid, d- hits him directly in the nose, and the other kid just like puts up his hands like, "I don't want any trouble." <laughs> I've never been headbutted before, but I'm assuming that hurts pretty bad. Yeah. Like probably worse than the punch, I was seeing. Yeah, the kid got headbutted and he he like backed off immediately. He was like, "My bad, man. Sorry." <laughs> It's a game changer. It was amazing. Yeah. Did security do anything? Security. There's no security. <laughs> That's crazy. So it's upstairs. So. Yeah. Whoa. So yeah. people could actually like do stuff. Yeah. People were going nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, I was, I was in the back because I'm old and I can't get punched. And uh, <laughs> if I get punched, I'll be out of work for a week. Uh, <laughs> so like I was towards the back and uh, the. Uh, you know, you know, but they, they started playing and, you know, everyone kind of pushed back. And, um, I could, I was so far back, I could barely see the show. Because you know how, like, the Middle East has those, like, columns? Yeah, and, upstairs you know? is not a great venue. No, not as good as watch, downstairs. Yeah, 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 not as good, especially for a show like that, yeah, you know, yeah. like, but, um, you know, it, it was good. It, it sold out. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, they were really good. It was really loud. You guys noticed that, like, I had earplugs in and it was really loud. The show was, yeah. like, really loud. Yeah, my earplugs were crackling. Yeah, yeah. They were really good. They played... I think the whole set they played songs from I Am King. Supposedly there was they, I didn't they, they only played, played one, one yeah. that one. Yep. <laughs> uh, so that was cool. I haven't seen them. Have you guys seen them play the new songs yet live? This is hardcore. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is yeah, hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. We talked about that last yeah. week. Kind yeah. Of so that was the first time I got to see them play the new songs, and they sounded great live. I thought they were really good. The show had a few other bands too. Twitching Tongues, Twitching Soul Tongues. Search. Who, sorry, I forget the the first band. I don't remember off the top. I am become death. Yes, I am yeah. become death. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I saw Soul Search and I saw a little bit of Twitching Tongue. That was really good. Um, was it only four bands? It was only four bands, yeah. yeah. Cool, so that seemed to be a successful show. It sold out, so that's always a good thing, right? Mm-hmm. Sounded good? Sounded good to me, yeah. And they're going on a Japan tour? Yep, yep. Uh, beginning of November, I believe. They're going Something to, around there, yeah. They're going to Japan. I think it's their first time going to Japan, too. Oh, def- so. It definitely is. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, Very jealous. <laughs> Me too. I want to I've, I've never been, but it seems like a cool thing to do. Yeah, doing three shows in Japan. Uh, so not so we went to that on what was that Wednesday night? Sure. I want Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday night. Tuesday, Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Mm. On Wednesday, uh, we sent out all the download codes for the new self defense seven inch. So if you ordered from the Death Wish store, your pre order most likely shipped already. Mm-hmm. Um, and you should have gotten an email with a download code so you can actually listen to the other song. There was, it's a two song seven inch. Uh, we released the first song over the summer actually at uh, Death Wish Fest. Uh, it was on that sampler. Yep. Um, summer yeah, of Blood. Yeah. Summer of Blood, yeah. Blood. yeah. We still have a few, like uh, a couple boxes of the, the actual yeah. CDs left. They're so still going out. if you place an order, uh, we've been throwing them in order so you know you can, you can find it there. but. Uh, that song was released at Death Wish Fest, so people were pretty psyched on that. Uh, Cottage the second track, uh, on the B side of, of the seven inch. Uh, yeah. So uh, if you, yeah. So again, if you, your pre-order should be come should be coming pretty pretty shortly, um, uh, and you should check your email because you probably have a check download. your spam folder. Check your spam folder too. Yeah. Mm. Don't want to lose out on that. Or your promotions folder, whatever. <laughs> <in Gmail. laughs> yeah. Check we get out. a lot of that. Caleb's ver- oh, this is gonna this is gonna hit a sore spot. Right? <laughs> Check that shit. I know <laughs> you've been all right. All right, all right. I hold on. A digital. Yeah, Caleb. I mean, uh, Chris does the uh, digital emails. Yeah. But Caleb's been talking all week. He's like, I want to talk about estimated ship dates. <laughs> oh, here we I'm like, go. what do you want to talk about estimated ship dates for? Like, how is that interesting at all? Like, well, who it's, wants to it's talk estimated. about that? Estimated. If something doesn't go out the day of. It's estimated. It's well, not a guarantee. Like, shit happens. Trains derail. <laughs> Dude, you're that's This seems a little aggro right now. Yeah. Aggro? No, I'm just saying. I didn't want to talk about it this week. I think it's a good thing to talk about eventually. Well, yeah. Just so, explain a little bit more how pre-orders work in general. Yeah. You want? I mean, you want you want to talk about that now? No. Not All right. Really. I mean, <laughs> you brought it up. up. It's in the mail. Because you've been... I didn't put it in the show notes. <laughs> you've been... On my ass about sure this all week. We gotta talk about the estimated ship dates. Estimated ship dates. I'm like, dude, I don't know if anyone really gonna even care about the estimated ship dates. Whatever. They, they probably don't care, but I think it's a <laughs> useful thing, and it's. You're just trying to school everyone, man. No, I'm just trying to. Exp- I'm just trying to give the kids knowledge. I'm trying to not have to email 40, 60 people a day. You know, <laughs> that's that's Fair what enough. I'm trying to do. Fair enough. You're trying to lighten your load up. A little bit. Okay. Mm, not, so I mean, no one listens to this, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of known <laughs> anyways. They're the estimated ship dates. Yeah. They're, yeah. So yes, they are estimated ship dates. Sometimes we we're, we're pretty good though. We we, we are. are. No, we are. But like, there's very few times yeah, that we stuff, miss that date. Stuff gets delayed. Yeah. You know? Things happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So well, a train derailed for Code Orange. That did happen. Like that's a that was a thing. With the records on. Yeah. yeah. It was just the records were fine though. Yes, thankfully. Yeah, the, the record was too heavy for the train to handle. Yeah, that's, that's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. Yeah, yeah. It's a joke. <laughs> um, cool. And I think uh, we did something else yesterday. Maybe uh, I think Caleb wants to take this topic. He. Uh, well, Rich. <laughs> I think you should take it because you're what? just so all about it. I wasn't anything about it. I no, I know you're, you're miserable and you you hate fun. Uh, we went on a little office field trip with Code Orange. Uh, we went to the Tops Field Fair. And you want to explain that to people that don't live in Massachusetts that it's have just literally a fair. no idea it's what it's a it fair. Is. People haven't been to a fair before. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I've ever been to a fair. I mean, I've been to. A, is is that the same as a carnival? Not quite the same. What's but the difference? Similar. They're similar. Really, a carnival is more of a circus vibe. Maybe yeah, it's more, like, of, a sh- it's like more of a show. A yeah. fair is like you walk around and you go to like you go on rides, and you get food. Like are there clowns at fairs? Well, there was maybe a, there was a clown at this fair. Yeah, I was, was riding there. around in this stupid little little truck thing, and bubbles were shooting out the side, and these like kids were running after the thing. It was, it was terrible. <laughs> you were jealous. <laughs> you get all the attention. Okay, so we had. 
we were gonna we were gonna go Monday last Monday, whatever. Yeah, and we were, um, we were gonna go one day. It doesn't matter because I don't know when the podcast. Goes. It was it was supposed to be the beginning of the week. Yeah, Monday. we were supposed to go on Monday, and Rich was being such oh, a, oh, a oh, bummer. Oh, stop right there. No, this you, is why we didn't go, and then the I get re- blamed after the fact. The reason this was your fault. The reason we didn't go is because Caleb didn't tell anyone that we were going. It's an okay, office field was, trip. He was telling people that it, it, it was a surprise. And <laughs> it wasn't so Nobody was surprise. ready. I like so surprises. I office. wanted to make it a surprise. So it was like, I was like, like guys, we're going someplace Monday. I don't need to tell you what it is. You're coming to work. It's, it's a work day. It was a work field trip. You're going to be here. I don't need to be like, all right, prepare yeah, but to go, go to, to work fun. to do work. work. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> so we're going on a field trip. Yeah. Do okay. you get to make that executive decision, though? Yeah, it was like 12 o'clock. I didn't, th- I didn't think it was a big deal. <laughs> no, it was apparently. like 10.30. Was it that early? I don't even remember. Yeah, it was like 10.30. And Caleb's like, all right, drop everything, let's go. We're just like, what are you talking about? Like, and, yeah. and like, we're just like getting ready to do things. Seems like the typical, not only is Monday the busiest day of the week. Yeah, You just wanted to, everyone to drop everything and just everybody, go. Everybody's in on Mondays. That's why I thought Monday would be a good day to do it. So everybody gets to go. Terrible, terrible decision on your Yeah, part. God forbid I, you know, I want to have fun with you guys. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't it won't happen again. again. It really won't. <laughs> so, I don't even know what else to say about that. I'm just getting angry now. I saw you running in that maze thing, yeah. and I thought it was going to topple over. <laughs> I thought it was going to It's like you fall. and Gil were running up. Yeah, the, we uh, did a race. Yeah. Okay, Gil. Who won? He's my boy. We like to have fun. Okay, Gil, Gil, Gil won, but that's because... Kimberly was on the ropes, and I she blocked me. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the only thing that, uh, and then you were the only ones on that ride. We went like <laughs> <laughs> we went like pretty early in the day, and there wasn't like a lot of people there. Yeah, no one here went on rides except me, Gil, and Garvey went on a few. I went on a few rides. You went on one. Yeah, I don't do rides. <sighs> Literally Whatever. everyone. Oh, we're motion sickness. Everyone at the office gets oh, motion puke. sickness. Really, really. I ate, I ate, I know. I ate a funnel cake. Does that, does that count as fun? That is the only thing you that, did that was yeah. fun. I got I got a solid video of you walking alone <laughs> for five minutes. You didn't know I was behind you. I was we'll, like, oh, sad Ridge. We'll, put that, like we'll put that in the YouTube video. All right. <laughs> yeah, send that over. That'd be good. Just have that looping. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's a little insight into the richest personality. I was very busy. I had lots of emails to do yesterday. You weren't. You were walking around with your hands in your pockets, moping. Maybe I was people watching. You weren't. <laughs> you were like looking at the ground, walking. Maybe like, I was ground watching. I hate fairs. I hate fun. Let me ruin this for everyone else. I don't know, man. Like I don't. You were just super bummed out. No, I wasn't bummed out. It's just like you, you know, looked really bummed out. Fairs aren't my thing. Is that fair enough to say? It's an office field trip. I, I don't do like I, I don't know. I don't. That, that's not my thing. What's the big deal? It's not what is thing. what is your some thing? people you some people like movies. Thing? Some people like TV. I don't know. I like video games. I like technology. Right. I like, guess it wasn't Nintendo. How can you like <laughs> that is true. Fair? How can we how how can we plan a field trip around video games? Rich can do you want to go to an arcade? Virtual simulation. Go to an arcade. That's a good idea. Maybe Sims we'll maybe we'll yeah. go to the Salem Willows one day. Right, try. <laughs> cool. Um, Actually, after this was such a well, I didn't think it was a bus. I had a lot of fun, but I don't know if Trey's gonna let us do that anytime soon since you guys ruined fun. All right, I think everyone had a good time except for me. <laughs> did they? I mean, I'm assuming they did. There was I, a, I saw people smiling. I had a great time. I had funnel cake. Oh. Oof. Oof. They had an elephant there. It was kind of fun. Yeah, it was weird, but it was as much as as much as it was fucked up. It was kind of cool to see an elephant. You've never seen one before. Yeah. When else am I gonna see an elephant? When you look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh, so, so my nose is big too. <laughs> this is this is terrible. <laughs> Dad um, jokes. <laughs> yeah, this is really bad compared to last week. Yeah, so uh, I guess if you uh, if you like uh, fairs and outdoor activity, I guess you can go to the Topsfield it's Fair. Really it's good. running until October 13th. It's huge. In Topsfield, Massachusetts. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you can go there, I don't know, go pet on, a goat, you can have some fun. Go on the zipper. Oh, we went into a haunted house, too. Chris would. Chris, <laughs> oh, well, Chris got did, nervous, right? Chris didn't. Dude, it was too dark. I just couldn't do it. The guy shook, son. The we guy. Scared. The guy gave us a deal: four tickets per person. 
he let Chris in with only two tickets. Chris walks out. No, he let you Bill owe that guy. Chris, you should have went through. Chris, you have some fares. Uh, I can. Uh, <laughs> you have some. <laughs> you have some fares. Haunted houses. You don't like the elevator. In, in I, no, I I don't like the elevator Do you, by myself. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> How does it make it better if you're stuck in there with someone else? They're gonna eat you. <laughs> so what? I guess we'll explain this a little bit more too. We have like a storage area like on the top floor of our building. It's like the fifth. Technically, it's the attic. It's like the fifth floor of the building. Yeah. And uh, so once in a while, we have to get stuff up there. And Chris is, and I'll be like, Chris, can you go up there? And he'll be like, Yeah. And then he's like, and he won't like. He Dude, won't I'll take the elevator, stairs. and he takes the stairs. <laughs> Chris is like, why do you take the stairs? I mean, it's good for your health, he's I guess. He's really into but fitness. Chris but yeah, is like, I love fitness. If you get stuck in the elevator with someone else, and like you're in there a while, like then you have company. Hungry. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, you have company. You know, dude. Chris is like, I don't fuck with that elevator. I just don't fuck with that. <laughs> that's so scary. Out of all the elevators you get stuck in, that's a pretty sketchy one because it's a freight elevator. Yeah. It's like very old looking. It Plus, is. It, it is, is kind of scary. I remember like the guy who comes to check the it. The inspection like, is expired yeah. by like two years. So, <laughs> that like, guy. That guy comes to check it. Pretty. <laughs> he freedom. looks at it like, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, it's, whatever. <laughs> it's still there. Yeah. It's, <laughs> The rope hasn't broken yet. He looks at it, he goes, yeah, no one's died on this yet, so... Yeah. Good. So, sorry sorry to bring that up, Chris. But you're afraid of haunted houses and elevators. Okay, to be fair... I do like scary movies. There was a chainsaw clown. In the elevator? No. (laughs) In the haunted house. (laughs) And it scared the shit out of Gil. I thought you were going to... Yeah, you didn't even get to that. No, but Gil came out holding his chest like... Oh my god. Like, he was... I saw Gil walking around with a feather in his hair. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah. Smooth Gil. Calling that for a reason. That's cool. That's cool. All right, so, I mean, all right, you guys, I guess you guys had a good time at the fair. Yeah, I loved it. I went on every ride. I'm really excited about the next office field trip. To where? The arcade? The world is going to close down soon. If that ever happens. So, just saying. (sighs) Cool. So, let's, (laughs) in case he just fell asleep, (laughs) we have to wake him up. (laughs) Yeah. Um... All the listeners are too. So. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to our uh, new uh, new records in the store this week. Is that the segment? Is that what we're going to call it? New, new records, new in distro the store titles. This week. That's the that's the theme song. Cool new tunes. <laughs> <laughs> cool new tunes with Casey Neal. Oh, pretty nice. Okay. All right. So what about that? Scoops Corner? No, let's not do that. <laughs> let's, let's kill that now. Um, so this week, I'll highlight. Four titles, I guess, that we have in. Yeah, last this last segment, what, the last episode segment was a little bit long. Yeah, and that's, I mean, we're that's trying to... it wasn't really new from the week. That was new from, like, a few months. Yeah. Okay. Trying, trying to find the first, it was the first episode. Yeah. Cool. But this time, uh, I'm going to go over just four. So, we have in the new Adventures Pity Sex Split 7-inch, which Rumper Cover put out. And I'm sure most people are familiar with Adventures, but it's members of Code Orange Kids playing, I don't know, stuff almost in the vein of... Would you say Tiger Straw? I feel like somebody described them as sounding like Tiger Straw when I first um, heard them. A, a little bit, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'd say it's in that vein. Yeah, it's it's definitely a departure from Code Orange. Yeah. Kids, but they're a talented musician. So Post punk hardcore. I don't know. I, all right, let's let's not even bother classifying it. It's, yeah, it's I, good. It's, it's worth really good. Yeah, I really like that the the song that Run for Cover released. The adventure song. Yeah, yeah. it was a really good song. Yeah. Sure. And then Pity Sex good band like kind of morose shoegaze music i guess um but yeah so we have that split in they have a pixies cover on that do they yes. yeah 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 I, didn't even, I don't know anything about this there's yeah. another cover i forget which one turning point yeah the turning the inventors has a turning point cover on that. oh yeah cool we also have the seven inch from stone dagger which is a new band with brendan radigan and dfj from rival mob basically playing like hard rock if you're into Magic Circle, it's pretty similar to Magic Circle, but I think it has more of, like, it's a little faster from what I recall. Like, Magic Circle kind of, like, you know, mid-tempo, like, stoner metal. Um, we also have a compilation 7-inch from Flat Spot Records. It's the Extermination compilation. And it has all the cool hardcore bands that you probably like. Suburban Scum, Backtrack, Turnstile, Soul Search, and King Nine. And lastly, we, we have we the, have we a, have both volumes of that. Oh, we, we do. Have the seven inch is volume one, and then the uh, LP that just came out is volume two. Oh, but yeah, it's a, it's a lot of bands. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That sounds like a heavy hitting. Yeah, a lot of bedroom, a lot of bedroom mosh probably will happen if you put that on. <laughs> 
And then we have a repress of Yesu's shit. I pronounce it Yesu. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. I'm, I'm almost positive. I'll have to look it I up. I pronounce it Jesu for a very long time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how yeah. I think I did too, and yeah. someone corrected me, and they were like, yeah, yeah, that's how you say it. I'm like, whatever. Yeah. We have uh, the repress of the Yesu Conqueror, double L P, from Hydrahead. Um, Can I interrupt you for a second on that? Sure. Because I honestly like love that record, and I actually remember, I don't know why I remember this, but that was the last like CD that I bought in store. Right. I bought a CD. Where did you buy it? New Break Comics? Yeah, I bought a New Break Comics. I literally remember it. Like, this was, a, I saw it there, I was like, oh, I'm going to buy this. And, and uh, it was the last, I don't know why I remember that, but that's just, that's yeah. my story about that record. Yeah. Uh, but it's fantastic. Uh, uh, I forgot. The, the, the package. <laughs> um, the packaging for it is beautiful. It's this transparent slip cover. Cover, cover. You see a cover? I think I said cover. <laughs> <laughs> it comes in a cover. That's amazing. Yeah. No, it's actually really nice. I posted a picture up of it earlier yeah. in the week. Angela took that picture. It yep. looks really nice. Killing it. It's very uh, good. Yeah, it's good. Check it out. It's like pretty chill music, I guess. That's a lack of a better adjective. It. But it's the dude Justin Broderick from Godflesh. Mm-hmm. So you know it's good. I am into that record a lot. I, I remember when it came out, I was really pumped on it. That's why. I, I like the Silver lot. EP. That's the only thing I think I've really I like that to. one too. And what's the. What's like the one he just does like remixes? What's that record called? I, don't, not, I know what you're talking about, but I don't know what it's I called. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I love that record too. Oh, and I've heard like the. This isn't one of his releases, but the Mogwai LP that he did a remix of mm. one of the songs. It's pretty cool. Wretch, wrenched Virile Lore, I think, is the Mogwai record. Cool. So, um, that was our, uh... Cool new tunes. Cool new tunes segment. (laughs) (laughs) Buy the, uh, cool new tunes at store.deathwishing.com. You can find them. Yeah, where's Mark for this part? I know, Mark should be, uh, Mark's our salesman, so he should be, uh, (laughs) slinging those records. He's, well, he's in Maine or wherever he is, just, you know, hitting up No, he's not in Maine, he's He's in, like, Michigan or something. Pretty sure he's in the Hamptons. Chris, I'm playing it up. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot. Cool. No, I think he is in Michigan yeah, for a wedding. Cool. Uh, so I guess the uh, the the last thing we wanted to hit on is uh, we do have questions. We do we have answer. we do we'll have a couple of questions. Oh, let's read them. So we uh, we we asked people on last podcast to email us and continue to if you, uh, we got some emails from some people and if you do want to send us a question or um, submit some feedback about the podcast you can email us at deathtalk at deathwishing.com and if we if we can we'll we'll answer the question on the podcast or uh, read your feedback on on here as well uh, I'm going to let Casey take the first question here. Uh, we think we got an email from Daniel. Yep. I have a question here from Daniel. He's asking, I'm interested in helping out my local bands with promoting and putting out some music. What advice would you have to help promote them? Basically, how do I get their name out beyond their local scene slash state? I think that, first and foremost, you should be playing as, as frequently as possible within reason so people know that you exist mm-hmm. like stay relevant in some way by releasing music it i think at the very least like once a year like some sort of release and when you do release stuff i would submit it to as many relevant like blogs as possible mm-hmm. like if you're a punk band like toxic breed is a pretty good blog that i think people still frequent and like cut stuff and like that cut and paste is awesome um, there's like a number of them. You could just like like Google your favorite band, like Turnstile, Blogspot, and then you can probably find like a bunch of them. Your favorite band probably should be Turnstile because they're sick. And um, I think that band just band, like talking to people and like making friends and telling people about the band just in an organic way is the best way to do it. I don't. Yeah, I I think that's probably a good plan of action. But just stay relevant and continue being active. And let me ask you this, Casey, because I think a lot of a lot of like local bands that are just starting out, they want to tour. Like they want to tour right away. Like that, I know it's like a goal that yeah. like they just want to start touring. This and is go a places. controversial question. I know, I know. So, but like you've been in a bunch of bands. You're in a bunch of bands, yeah. um, and people like your bands. So, uh, you know, I, I'm of the I'm of the you know I I think that 
maybe not touring right away is the best option. You know, yeah. maybe gain, you know, a local following before you go outside. Like, yeah. if you can't get people to go to a show in Boston, why do you think they're going to go yeah. to your show in Philadelphia? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, play locally as much as you can. Yeah. Uh, you I know, heard, yeah. play Boston, play Worcester, play New Hampshire, play Providence. There's, a, there's so Depending many places. Where you live, yeah. Like, yeah, there's so many places area. just around Boston that aren't too far away that you can play shows in. Yeah. Uh, we're now, and this is just Boston, you know, I don't know about, you know, LA, yeah. you know, New York, you know. Yeah. Also, never do pay to play. That is a rip off, a scam. <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. You don't yeah. need to do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, so what, what's your opinion on that? So, you know, playing locally as much My as opinion, you can. I think, okay, personally, I like to play a local show once a month. I think that, unless there's like a bunch of good ones that you get offered. But I think that not oversaturating your area because then people just are always like, oh, well, I can just see them next weekend, whatever. And I think that touring as soon as you start is a bad idea. I don't think that, I personally won't do that. I think that touring not very often gets people to want you. You know, there's more of a demand than what you're supplying the people. Um, but yeah, I, I think that a lot of people are just getting excited about touring and it's really fun and I definitely think that everyone should do it at some point for the experience but I don't Plus, think you need to do it when we say tour it doesn't need to be like a couple month long tour you, no. can, you can do a weekend you can drive up to New York play a yeah. show play two shows stop in New Jersey Philly on the way back like yeah you don't depending you don't on where to, you live you don't need to go out for that long yeah just like play like around your your, your state so you know? yeah I mean that's that's good you know you know, play as many shows as you can, you know, when you first start, get, try to, uh, you know, get on some of the, you know, local shows that are happening. I um, mean, that's a, that's some good advice. Yeah. And again, just like meeting people in the community, making friends with, you know, people that put on shows, put out records. Uh, yeah. You know, if, if, if your band is good and people want to listen to it, you, you will, you know, uh, yeah. get offers and, and, uh, you know, and that's probably where we should start too is. Make sure your band is as good as it can possibly yeah. be before Practice you even play a, a show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've exactly. been in a number of... My first band, I think we, like, started and then practiced a couple times and then played a show and, like, hardly had songs finished. <laughs> and it was embarrassing and terrible. But it was a fun experience because of my first show. But right. try not to do that. Right, because you're making... That's your first impression on someone. I mean, if someone goes to that show, sees your band, and you didn't play that well, then... Yeah, they're probably not gonna want to see you the next time you come around. Yeah, think about it is. what you like to see. Yeah, be cool. Exactly. <laughs> Most importantly, be cool. Yo, be, exactly. cool. Yo, be cool. Don't be a nerd. Exactly. <laughs> I, I think I think you know playing as many shows as you can and you know getting the word out about your band is always the best way to go. And you know if if you're a good band and people like your band, you know that will uh, that will pay off in the end. You know exactly. All right, yeah, so right before we uh, finish up here, let's do a quick uh, what we're listening to this week. Um, and we'll just do, like, one thing each. Maybe. Yeah. Not oh, cool. Any cool records that you've uh, been listening to? Uh, Caleb, Caleb, we're going to go backwards this time, Caleb. I, okay. I've been listening to Sharon Van Etten. I think I said that right. Yeah. You sound like you don't know how to uh, pronounce that. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm, That's s- definitely I'm right. scared of pronouncing things. Um, yeah. What's uh, that all about? Sad stuff. <laughs> sad, <laughs> sad white girl music. No, I'm, still, no, I'm, still, I'm still listening to the to the same shit I was listening to last week because that's what I do. I just it's listen to the sad. same thing until I can't listen to it anymore. It's awesome. I bet it is really good. Sounds, I, I can't. I'm scared of pronouncing her name, but she's great. Sounds depressing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I like. <laughs> Chris, what have you been uh, listening to this week? Uh, I've been listening to the. Adventures P6 split. I heard that coming out of your office. Yes. Quite a few times. Yeah, it's bumping that shit. I'm into it. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, check it out. That's that just came out on Tuesday, so yeah. it's a that's a brand new one, so that's cool. Awesome. And Caleb. Not Caleb. <laughs> I'm Casey. I've been listening to Sharon <laughs> <laughs> Um I, Casey, have been listening to the soundtrack to the movie Moon, which is composed yes. by Clint Mansell. Caleb is all about soundtracks. Yeah, you guys are. Right, I don't I like. All right, Rich. I don't watch. That's movies. one of the most accessible. It's really good. Yeah. I love the movie. I was having a shitty day. I listened to it like three Casey. times in a row, laying in bed. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm yeah, so I don't happy. really listen to. I'm sorry, I don't really watch movies, so I don't get the whole movie soundtrack thing. 
Like, the last movie I saw in theaters, I think, was, like, the last Batman movie. Like, I saw that in IMAX. Of course. Like, that was, like, the last... <laughs> I just don't watch movies. I'm, I'm, Zimmer? I'm more of a, I'm more of a TV show sort of guy. So, I don't know. Yeah. What's your favorite TV show? Right now? Yeah. Oh, man. Homeland just started up on Showtime, so I'm... Been I just watched the first two episodes of that. Okay. Boardwalk Empire is killing it. We should do like what we're watching too. <laughs> Boardwalk <laughs> Empire is all about it. Yeah, <laughs> Boardwalk Empire is season. I think it's. I don't even know if season I four or five. Me, yeah. uh, that's great. Uh, there's that show. It's on Amazon. It's like an Amazon exclusive. It just. Mm. I think it's a new show. I don't really know. It's the guy from. I can't remember his name, but it's the guy from like uh, Arrested Development, like the father. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's in that. It's called like Transparency. Tri- Very good show. Uh, highly recommended. Um, and I'm going to use that as my. Uh, that's what I've been listening to this week. Because he's still listening to Saves the Day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, that's, that's it for that. So. I watched a documentary about. Uh, two guys competing to go and to be the first male genitalia in a uh, penis museum in what? Iceland. To donate their dick, yeah. basically. <laughs> uh, one, one's, like, re- one's a really old guy who's like, once I die, cut that shit off, put it put it up there, and then the, and then there's this American weirdo who's like, no, nah, I want to cut that shit off while I'm alive because I want to be the first in the museum. <laughs> Wait, he wants to It's called the final member. A lie? Yeah. And yeah. what's he going to do? Then he can just, like, relish in the fact that his dick is in a museum. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I mean, what else would you do? (laughs) That's true. No, he's, like, he's all about his dick. He's, like, he calls it Elmo. Oh, yeah. You actually told me about that. That's Uh, pretty... This is odd. Uh, It is is odd, but I feared, you know, I watched it. Like, like, when when you say... (laughs) When you say that he wants it, like, displayed... He's a weirdo. He's drawing up blueprints, and this, this, he's like, this is how I want it to He's display. drawing dick pictures. <laughs> yeah. He is. He is. Another part of the movie, he wants to do a comic book about his dick, like the adventures of Elmo. It's like, what What goes on here? <laughs> that's a copyright head? infringement. Have that's you guys true. ever been to, like, the bodies exhibit? That's, that's exactly. Is it going to be like that? Yes. Except he wants it to display story, correct. I got very nauseous in the bodies really? exhibit. Really? Oh, I loved it. My girlfriend can tell you about this. We went there, she and. She probably loved it. Oh, she loves it. She's a nurse, so, like, yeah. you know, she's, like, all into that stuff. But I got so nauseous I had to sit down. And I don't know what it is, but, like, I am i don't like blood. I don't like guts. Like, I, I, I don't mind, like, movie, like, you yeah. know, like, someone gets their head chopped off. That's not, like... But I can't watch, like, a surgery. Like, can you guys watch? That's oh, real. I hate it. Yeah, yeah. I can't, like, watch that. And watch we went to the... Bo- I, I honestly didn't think it was going to be a big deal when I got there. Yeah. And I, like, walked in. You were just, like, in a cold sweat. And I was just, like... I don't know if I can handle this. There was like veins, like oh, I'm getting sick right now. Just like thinking about it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to end the podcast early. Um, no, you have a conference call. But yeah, I would not want to do that. That would be terrible. Mm. Yeah, final member. Watch it. It's interesting. All right, cool. Watch it. Love it. Live it. <laughs> so that's about it. Uh, again, you can you can. Uh oh. <laughs> Forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, you can Questions. email us. At your questions and feedback, uh, death talk. Yep. Hate mail. At just put the subject line all caps. Rich sucks with an X. You're Caleb's right. talking over me. Yeah. Dick schematics. Let me try that yes. again. Yes. <laughs> Send those to Rich. <laughs> you can email us your questions and feedback. Death talk at deathwishing dot com. Uh, we'll try to get to your questions on the podcast and see if we can answer them for you. Also. We didn't mention this the first one, but you can listen to this on YouTube as well. So just go to youtube.com slash deathwishinc, subscribe to our channel, and you'll be able to see this and any other, you know, videos that we post up. So that'd be great. So again, yeah, thanks for listening to Death Talk 002. Uh, Have a great rest of your life. I don't know if I want to end it like that. That sounded depressing last time. I liked that. Have a great week. End. Ugh. No. Week? Oh, oh shit. We're both on Mondays in a week, so. Uh-oh. Yeah. So have a great week. Have, uh, have Be happy and, you know, go to the Top Shield Fair or something. Yeah. If you're in California or something, you just fly over. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah, go that. It's totally worth the plane ride. Yeah, they have an elephant. <laughs> All right. We're done. <laughs> God, that was painful.